So in today's world, there's type one, type 1.5, pre-diabetes, type two diabetes, gestational diabetes, and now type three diabetes. So I'll walk you through each one of them. Type one and type 1.5 diabetes are autoimmune versions of diabetes, just like you were talking about. Okay. Autoimmune means your own immune system mounts an attack on a specific population of cells in a particular organ, and then it causes those cells to uh, get destroyed. And as a result of that, you end up with some type of endocrine dysfunction. In this situation, my immune system attacked the beta cells inside of my pancreas. The beta cells are responsible for secreting insulin. So if you attack the beta cells, they do what's called programmed cell death or apoptosis. Those beta cells self-destruct. And as a result of that, now your ability to secrete insulin goes from being what's considered normal down to effectively zero. So as a result of that, immune system attacks itself. That causes a loss of insulin production. And now I have to go inject insulin from the outside world. So I have to, you know, you can use a, uh, a syringe, you can use an insulin pump, you can use an insulin pen. There's many different delivery mechanisms. But the idea here is that now I'm responsible for, for managing my own insulin use. And managing insulin is a very, it's a, it's a, I mean, it requires a lot, of, a lot of thought and a lot of consideration. Very, very, very complex topic. But suffice it to say that type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition that generally affects people under the age of 30 and is a relatively rapid progression towards uh, full insulin dependence. And I say rapid, meaning you get diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, and usually 12 to 18 months later, you are fully, fully 100% insulin dependent. Type 1.5 is slightly different. It affects people who are the over the age of 30, and it is a much slower progressing version of type 1 diabetes. So it's adult onset, slow progressing type 1 diabetes. Some people who are diagnosed with type 1.5 diabetes may never become fully insulin dependent. Sometimes their, their pancreas still manufactures a little bit, but the idea is there's a sort of like a weaker version of type 1, if you will, that affects adults. Those are the only two versions of autoimmunity in, in the diabetes world. That's it. Everything else is not autoimmune, okay? Pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, gestational diabetes, and type 3. So pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes are connected to one another. And the reason is because you, if you develop insulin resistance, which is the precursor condition to both of those conditions, you develop insulin resistance. Insulin resistance, if uncorrected, develops into pre-diabetes. Pre-diabetes, if uncorrected, turns into type 2 diabetes. But the beauty here is that in the same way that you go from one step to the next to the next in order to get to type 2 diabetes, you can also reverse it. You can go from type 2 to pre-diabetic, from pre-diabetic down to insulin resistant, from insulin resistant down to insulin sensitive. And when you do that, then you can technically completely reverse the entire disease process. So that leaves us with uh, gestational diabetes, which is a type of diabetes that is also, again, it starts with insulin resistance. It progresses to pre-diabetes and then gestational diabetes. That happens to women when they are pregnant. It usually goes away after pregnancy. But what most women don't understand is that even if you were living with gestational diabetes and it disappears once you deliver your baby, the mere fact that you were living with gestational diabetes is a warning sign that you have metabolic dysfunction inside of your blood vessels and liver and kidneys and muscle. That's number one. Number two, women who are diagnosed with gestational diabetes are at a 65% increased risk for the development of type two diabetes uh, three to five years in the future. It is a huge wake up signal, a huge wake up sign that something is wrong and you have an opportunity to fix that thing so that you don't develop type two diabetes in the future. And it also can increase the risk for the development of pre-diabetes and type two diabetes in your child many years into the future. So. That's, that's gestational. The final thing is type three diabetes. Type three diabetes is a new form of diabetes that's basically been created over the past 10 to 20 years. And it's just a new name for an old condition. The condition is called Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is caused is basically dementia, vascular dementia and vascular dementia is a condition that is highly influenced by your metabolic state it is highly influenced by insulin resistance. So the more insulin resistant you become in your muscles and in your liver, the more insulin resistant your brain becomes and your brain when exposed to high levels of insulin over the course of time 
um, from your pancreas when your brain is living in an insulin resistant metabolic state over the course of 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 70 years can lead you towards vascular dementia and Alzheimer's disease. And the reason why researchers are now calling it type three diabetes is because they, they think of it as insulin resistance of your brain. And it is a fascinating area of research. And, um, what we are seeing, the general theme is that insulin resistance is a condition that not only increases your risk for many different forms of diabetes, but it also is directly linked with cardiovascular disease. It is directly linked with cancer and diabetes, heart disease, and cancer claims the lives of more than 80% of our population. Those are the big three, and we have to get a handle on those three. And if you want to unite all those three into one common mechanism, the common mechanism is insulin resistance, period, end of story. Hey, I'm Cyrus Kambata, co-creator of the Mastering Diabetes Method, which has helped thousands of people reverse insulin resistance and take control of their lives, no matter what type of diabetes they're living with. Do you want to know all of our tips, tricks, and secrets? They're right here in our New York Times bestselling book, Mastering Diabetes which you can find at masteringdiabetes.org slash book. If you're ready to master diabetes, pick up a copy today. You won't be disappointed.